Hi, Darren Mangum here, a securities attorney. Um, in today's video, I wanted to talk about um, the importance of your online reputation as it relates to um, raising capital or as it relates to uh, you know, putting together a private placement memorandum or PPM uh, for investors. Um, Obviously, one of the key components of a private placement memorandum is uh, the biographical information or bios uh, of the management team. Um, and oftentimes, when I ask for clients uh, for this information as we're in the process of preparing a private placement offering, um, you know, they'll send me either a, they'll send me their LinkedIn bio or they'll send me um, their resume and. Obviously, you know, resumes and bios, they're sort of put, you know, they're, they're designed to put the best, your best foot forward, right? Hey, here's all the, if I'm doing a real estate uh, project, hey, here's all my real estate experience. Or if I'm doing a, uh, a blockchain offering, yeah, hey, here's our technical team and our technical prowess when it comes to these sort of uh, projects. Um, and, you know, oftentimes those bios are overly, overly rosy. You know, they talk about all the accomplishments and all the great things, which is great and important. You know, um, in another video, I talk about the importance of that information being materially correct. You don't want to over embellish. Uh, I mean, obviously, you want to you want to put your best foot forward. But at the same time, you don't want to uh, you can certainly open yourself up to liability as well if you uh over embellish, right? If you make it too good to be true or, you know, hey, I can walk on water and I can turn water into wine, whatever, right? Uh, you don't want to go that far. Um, but today, in today's video, I wanted to talk about uh, your online reputation um, and something our law firm has decided to do as a service to our clients is to, um, we've partnered with uh, Legendary Labs, uh, who is a online reputation management uh, company and um, for the purpose of uh, helping our clients and when, when it comes to uh, marketing their offering oftentimes there's you know sometimes a bunch of junk out there as great as your as your LinkedIn bio and your biographical information is you know most a uh, lot of investors um, they'll they'll google the the CEO or they'll google the principles that they see inside the PPM and just to just to see what's out there and um, um, a recent study um, by Status Labs in 2020 uh, found that 65 percent or I think it's 64 percent 64 percent of um, of uh, people doing business online they exclusively use uh, search engines to determine um, uh, whether or not they want to do business. And in fact, uh, of those uh, surveyed, 45% uh, said that if, uh, if they found anything negative online, they just uh, decided to move on and not do business uh, with, that, with that person or company. And especially when it comes to investors, you know, the investors are no different. Uh, they, you know, judge, you know, basically they have a limited amount of time to do some due diligence. And, you know, if they see anything negative, any red flags, you know, you know, they may never, you may not, you may never even uh, get a second chance, right? To explain, explain away that bankruptcy back in 2008 or, um, oh, I had that criminal conviction back in whatever, you know, it wasn't related to anything you're doing right now, right? And so, um, anyway, uh, you know, our law firm felt like it was an important enough uh, thing to, I mean, obviously we can, help you with uh, all the legal aspects of setting that up, but that's this is an additional service that we decided that you know, many of our clients do need. And not to say that everyone needs uh, to fix their online reputation, but uh, you know, again, you want to just be very cognizant of the fact that that is going to be something that investors are going to be looking at. And so, um, yeah, so anyway, we, we definitely can help you with that. I mean, obviously, we're not the only uh, you know, there's plenty of other services, even if you don't use our new uh, reputation management uh, services. Uh, uh, it's definitely something that um, we, we have a conversation with our clients about 
uh, as we're finishing up the private place memorandum, or even as we're even before we get started, you know, we we talk about you know wanting to take a take a hard look at you know how do you look online, and uh, you know we've had again clients who. Um, you know, they've come back to us, uh, you know, three or six months later and said, hey, man, we're struggling to raise capital. And, and, and oftentimes, even when we're taking on a client, um, obviously, we'll, we'll uh, do a Google search and find out more information uh, about that client. And, and um, you know, obviously, if there's, if there's uh, problematic uh, uh, things that are popping up online, those are things that obviously need to be disclosed to investors, number one. And number two, uh, there may be some things that you can do to uh, manage that reputation, uh, especially if uh, the information's false or if it's uh, maybe you were uh, uh, accused of some, and it happens a lot, you know, some clients were accused of uh, maybe some activities that they ultimately were, were, um, were acquitted of or they were you know, found not guilty or not liable. Um, maybe it was just an investigation that ran its course and there was no problem. But still, you know, that stuff hangs out there online. So anyway, that's something definitely uh, we can help you with. Uh, and uh, we're excited for that service. And so, yeah, if we can certainly um, help you in any of those areas, please, please uh, let us know. And we'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks.